In previous video, we started a new topic JSTL and we decided to download two jar files. So let's start with the jar files first. JSTL jar. Here is the link. Click over the link. Um, JSTL jar zip. The download begins. Now once again, we are going to now search the standard jar. Standard jar. Again, the first link we followed the standard jar zip. Just download that file. Now we are done. The jar files we downloaded are in the zip file. Just we need to extract these files one by one. Once both the files extracted, we'll move these jar files to tomkit lib directory. Now we will restart the server if already running. Here in my case, I just started the server. When we deploy a third party jar files in tomcat lib directory, then we must restart the server. Now we will create a new application example. Here is the web apps folder. We just created an application folder one JSTL. So just open the application folder. We'll create an HTML page. Now we'll save this HTML page with the JSP extension index.jsp page. So before we use a JSTL tag, I just want to show you one example. Recall, we learned scripting where we talked about expression. Suppose we just want to publish or print 12 in our response page. Then we'll first write the scripting and we'll type the value 12. Now, because this is JSP page, just refreshing is sufficient. Now we'll run the JSTL exam. The index page will publish the response here. You can see that 12. So by using expression, we publish the value 12. Now we will create a line break. And now I'm going to use EL expression language. Another technique which is more powerful. Here I'm just going to print 13. Now see the response, 13. You can see that to print the value, we can either use scripting technique or EL expression language. Let's talk about the alternative provided by the JSTL, Cout. The core library tag Cout has a mandatory attribute value. And I passed 14 as an argument to this attributes value. Now let's print this value refresh unfortunately cout is not showing the value here we forgot to include the tag lib directive as we talked in the previous video that whenever you, we use jstl tags we must use tag lib directive when we use tag lib directive there are two attributes prefix and uri uh, by convention we can we should use c as a prefix and uh, http colon slash slash java dot sun dot com slash jsp slash jstl slash core so use this uri for core library tags now we'll just refresh this this page and you can see the response you can see the output here once again i'm inserting a line break here and now just refresh and we are able to publish the value just like expression or el so we saw the first tag but there is a doubt why we are using tag when el is so powerful and very compact so we will talk about this in detail in next video see you in next video till then bye bye